best friends got each other's back. We used to cruise around with a base to the max. Everyone at school while I was in the lab. Cooking up some beats that would turn into tracks. High school chilling, I was on a mission. I had bigger dreams of being a musician. Teachers always talk. Oh yeah, definitely. Are we supposed to be going to a wrestling show? No, no, I don't think that's till Saturday. It is Saturday. What? Oh shit. Okay. Jesus. Hello? Hello? Where the fuck is everybody? It's Friday. Wait, what? It is. How the fuck did you think it was Saturday? Because we filmed on Saturday. What do you mean we filmed on Saturday? We've been here at the B&B for a little bit, uh, waiting on Maddie. She's putting, Sunny's putting on some comfy, some comfy pants right now. Got the comfy pants on. Watching some WrestleMania 20, 22, uh, showing her some brutal old, shit. <laughs> showing her some of my more favorite matches and everything. We done watched Cena versus JBL I quit match. That was fun to watch. Fucking brutal. <laughs> very, very much so, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, just waiting on Maddie to get here and, uh, yeah, see where everything goes from there. We already got a food order and everything, so excited to see where things go. <laughs> okay, so we're hearing a weird noise. She's saying that it might be a turkey, so I think it sounds like a turkey. I'm not entirely sure, but I could have sworn it sounded like a turkey for a second. Yeah, no, I don't see anything. Weird. I kind of sort of sounded a little bit like a turkey. That was weird. Go and add the grown ups clip here. Imagine when a burglar comes over and hears that. Wow, what's that turkey doing in the house? So we're kind of just chilling here right now, trying to watch some shows. And uh, I don't know if it's just because it was the 
show we were watching because it was a TV thing on Hulu or what, but... No idea. But the internet fucking sucks. The the internet's being very spotty right now, and it shouldn't be for the fucking speeds that we're getting, so... I don't know, it's kind of irritating a little bit, I'll be honest. Gross. Yeah. Now we're just trying to find some shit to watch. Still waiting on Maddie to get here. I don't know where they're at. I know they're on their way. Yeah. Just a matter of when. Just a matter of what time they left. Probably do another update whenever they get here. Probably just get ready to go to bed after that. Nails are already painted for tomorrow. Excited. Yay. Oh, well, I made it at 1 in the morning. Yep. <laughs> you know, as you do. I didn't really talk about it almost before earlier, but I fucking lost my debit card, so I'm just like left at like 5. Watch as soon as you get back and everything, we'll just. Oh, yeah, I'll find it. One thing and you'll find it. Alright, back to what I was saying before my fucking battery died. <laughs> we're gonna finish up Pink Panther yeah, since we're, I don't know who the fuck owns this movie at this point, but <laughs> since we're out, probably. Should be a fun show even if the whole car got changed. I mean, we got BK versus Malachi, that's gonna fucking bang off the fucking room. Yeah, that's gonna go crazy. And then. Hell, workhorse member just Donny Ray and Mason Miles. That's gonna be freaking sick. That's like a match I didn't expect to want. Yeah. But it's like that makes sense. But like you expect just with the tag team that Mason's done with workhorsemen in the past, that's gonna story wise play into effect. Yeah. And then you just add fucking Donny in that mix. Yeah. They're so. all they're all psychotic. Should be fun. Alright, so we're just here watching probably the greatest fucking match we have seen. It's fucking... We're watching Color vs. Avalon, like, number 25 at this point. Uh, are they really about to go to time limit draw here? Brandon Cutler just did a fucking Luthez spray press. He did. <laughs> did, like, a Luthez press and then just sprayed the shit out of fucking Avalon's eyes. Color's gonna win. Color's gonna win. Oh what? How did how did you kick out of that? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Taz? Taz tried to do the fight for every chance. Yeah, actually there was a crowd chance that fucking eliminated. Yeah, this is crazy. That this match is still going on. Oh my god, roll, roll to a pin. One, two. I thought, one, one, one I, I thought they were gonna do a two. Freaking Ziggler over here in both He's companies, goddamn. Like yeah, right? <laughs> Shit. Oh. Yep. We're gonna be watching more of this random bullshit while we, uh. You ready for the show? Yeah. That, that beard's fucking crazy, and Avalon's just. weird. Welcome to traffic hell. Yep. So yeah, we're on the way to the venue. We're on about to on the old Concord Road, and uh, yeah, apparently we didn't realize traffic was gonna be this heavy at five o'clock. So we're gonna be showing up like right as the doors open, which is a first for us. Yeah, it is. For us, we're usually super early. Yeah. To the point of Volcano being like, "Why are you here so early?" <laughs> Like he freaking give it a shit at the last give show. Shit. It's like, brother, we ain't got shit to fucking do in this town. This town sucks. <laughs> That's why I've heard this town sucks and, too. And, and, hey, at least with this one, we had a fucking B and B. We actually could have chilled out in, yeah. which is what we did most of the day. We kind of just chilled and watched fucking Hulu and wrestling. Just watching SmackDown. In a relatively comfy and <laughs> more clean fucking living space. Oh yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> Man, I don't know, dude. <laughs> fuck. I don't know. Fuck that goddamn motel last show. Holy fuck. Sorry, bro. I had to book it last night. <laughs> no, I don't blame you. I'm, I'm, I blame them fully for sure on that all that shit. That, was that was sketch fest. That shit was a mess. Especially the fact you couldn't get a fucking DoorDash order going. Oh yeah, that was real sketch. Like yeah. A mile and a half out. Yeah. Literally just a mile from the fucking hotel and can't get DoorDash. Fucked up. But yeah, starting to rain on us a little bit, so it's gonna be a fun show. It's gonna be cold as shit by the time we get out because apparently we got a cold front coming in this next week. And uh, yeah, a whole shit ton of changes happened to the card on the way in, so that's uh, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but something happened. Yeah, something happened with some people. Hopefully, Patrick starts feeling better soon and gets over his little flu that Hopefully he's got. Tires okay as well. Yeah. 
But I like I like the matches that they changed up and everything. Freaking Mason versus Donnie and or Mason Donnie versus the War Horseman is gonna be a good match. I was about to say Mason versus Donnie versus War Horseman. That's a crazy match. That that would be a fucked up. That would actually be a pretty interesting match though. It's like handicap, tag. it's a had a handicap triple threat. Yeah. So like the two guys could tag in, but it's technically a triple threat in the ring. Write that down. That'd be it. Yeah. 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 Go and cut that out. Cut that out. Write that down. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Uh, yeah, then we got BK versus J Malachi. That should be a fun one. Two fucking talented sons of bitches that I. Yeah, it fucking pisses me off every time I see them do cool shit. I wish BK wasn't so talented. <laughs> Dude, he's talented enough to do an inside out moonsault and just flip off the crowd as he goes. Like, what the fuck, man? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Like, you, you don't gotta add that kind of flair to it, but you do, and it makes it even fucking cooler. It's second row fucking moonsault, too. That, yeah, that's what I was talking about, the inside out. Inside out, second row, I saw you moonsault with the fingers out. Just fingers out just as he's fucking rotating backwards. Like, god damn, bro. It don't make no sense. And then, what was the other addition? Uh, J.D. Drake's kid versus fucking, uh, the Didos was seven tag. I can't remember at the moment. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, uh, oh, Adam Priest versus... Yeah, 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 Adam yeah. Remember he's Rich Jackson Drake? Yeah, Jack, I think it's Jackson Drake, yeah. So that should be also a fun one. Adam Price has always been pretty good and everything. And uh, this will be Jackson Drake's first show, so that should be interesting. Is that true? I think so. I don't recall him being in any, any other show. I could be wrong. We, honestly, kind of going to all these shows every time and trying to just plan out financially how to fucking do this, they're kind of melding together. I don't level. remember having a car plus <laughs> I barely remember the card from the first show we ever went to. I don't remember fucking <laughs> the third show we went to. I, was like, I don't remember the show in March. I barely remember the last show. <laughs> Where are we right now? <laughs> what What year is it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, we're going to go ahead and we got another 20 minutes till we get to the venue. Probably talk to you guys again whenever we get about five minutes close and then uh, are able to see how the line is and go from there. furthest back I've ever been for a line before for a DPFV show. Uh, We're very far.
<laughs> the uh, Little Dagger addresses their enemies saying it ends up being a world title match. And the Kid Bandit came back, shockingly. Uh, Luck Ellie is our champion. Great. <laughs> I guess uh, we'll see how the rest of things end up shaping to be in December. Because now we got to deal with Buck Alley. Wonderful. That'll be fun. Whoa! Look at Bandit's golden opportunity here. Gotta flip it over so I don't ruin it. You did a good job on that, Bandit. Fair enough. I was hoping people would be like, oh, is that a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Nobody saw it. I was like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I saw it. I freaking flipped the fuck out. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad someone's cultured. I mean, I don't have a Yu-Gi-Oh tattoo, but I mean... I, mean, I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh, but I still do. Speaking of tattoos. Yes. Culture. Yeah, speaking of tattoos, I still need to figure out what the I'm hell I'm going to fill I'm in with yours. No, I'm surprised that even if nobody even watched Yu-Gi-Oh, they would still know what that is. I hope so. I, I would hope people would still recognize it. No way. All right, it is early ass o'clock. Where am I? Wait, we didn't really film too much and everything. Yeah, somehow we got a stowaway back here. Uh, I, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Ben ended up staying with us last night, and we're dropping them off at the airport uh, for their flight back, and then me and Sonny are going to be on our way back home. Great show as always. Fantastic fun. Um, I wasn't supposed to be there. Yeah, you weren't supposed to be there, and then, uh, sh shit happens. It was a good fucking show. Maddie, again, sorry for kind of leaving abruptly, but it was fun hanging out with you as always. A, it, a virtual camera hugs, I'll give you an actual hug and everything at the December show for sure to make up for it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is going to be the end of our part of the vlog and everything, and hope everybody did enjoy the video, and I'll, I'll see you guys in December. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Yep, exactly. <laughs>